So a couple of weeks ago, I did a uh, video kind of talking about like the farming quest part two or like the farming update part two, something along those lines. And one of the things that I was kind of bringing up in that video was how are we going to start getting more and more of these farming CEs? Because if you're not aware, let me just pull up one of these down here. Oh my goodness, there's so much, all of these quests. But we're basically getting these new um like advanced quests where they're really not all that difficult i mean i i know it looks like there's a lot here but these realistically aren't super hard the hardest thing about them is that you really can't bring a friend at least you can't bring a friend for um any of the previous ones i don't know if they're ever going to change that going forward so you know crossing fingers for uh, more newer players that maybe will be struggling with these but they're not all that hard and basically what you get are these special ce's that actually give you a buff to certain materials drop rates and when they're max limit broken they're 25 percent right so i'm like okay so eventually we're gonna get to a point where we can have four of these to get a 100 percent drop rate because that just kind of makes sense right like fgo typically does do that um with a lot of their different ce's either we're gonna be getting like in my opinion i thought we were gonna be getting like four different for like this one or we would start getting stuff kind of like the um the newer bond and qp things where maybe it would be buffed if you're if you are taken off the friends list or maybe it'd be split it'd be like oh it's going to be 15 percent uh void dust and like 15 percent bones but it does look like we actually have a confirmation that they're going to just start bringing out more and more quests because now at this point you can get all three of them and they are new quests on jp so there's actually a really really good sign going forward because i mean dude it's ridiculous i mean like if we just bring this up as an example, like if we just like click on the dust here and we can just like kind of show that some of these servants just need a ridiculous obscene amount of these materials. Like Okita needs 105, Lancelot needs 120, Musashi, who's a very popular servant, is 144, Gilgamesh is a popular servant, 144. It can just get really ridiculous. I mean, I know uh, some of the more uh, famous ones for materials are characters like Quetzalcoatl, if I can pull her up real quick. Um, Quetzalcoatl, I know, needs like an absurd amount of chains for like absolutely no reason. When a lot of these um, other Babylonia characters were coming out and like the stingers were a thing, it was also insane. Okay, it's not that big, but it's like they just need a lot of these materials, right? Like even this, even this might be considered like more light, quote unquote. Um, this is pretty insane for like getting one skill done, if that makes sense. Because this is to do one skill and then you got to do it again and then you got to do it again. That's why it takes so much, right? So it's like, it doesn't look like a whole lot if you're looking at one skill, but the farming in this game can get out of hand like really, really quickly. And it can kind of get you to this point where you're like, do I even really want to max out my servants? Oh, I don't really want to level up um, servant X, Y, or Z, right? Because they're going to need a lot of material, right? So because they're doing this, it's not only making the game more accessible, but it's just making it easier to like play the game, have your servants do better, because that also tends to be a problem for some people as you might say, get your hands on, if we go over to you know someone like Space Ishtar, right? You get your hands on her and you're like, oh, I've been hearing that Space Ishtar is like one of the best farming servants of the entire game. He has this 50% battery, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe you're lacking in eggs, right? Because I know eggs were something pretty annoying to farm for, especially if you're a newer player. And it's just like, well, it could be frustrating because, you know, you have this new really good servant, but you can't do this, uh, this skill and level it up or you can't max out her other skills, get her attack to make sure she's actually getting refund and everything, or she's not uh, actually securing kills in certain um nodes or anything because her attack is too low because of stuff like this it could just be really discouraging because you're like i have all the best servants i have everything i need but i'm not actually performing as well as i should be right so i do like that this is coming and i like that this is actually being uh kind of pushed a little bit harder because i was getting really worried i was like oh i would like to see like maybe one of these every week because they're not really hard to do on the side of dw or lasengo whatever you want to call them um, it's not very hard for them to do because they literally just put out a quest. This one, they made this like, like really crazy. Like they just did all this nonsense over here. They don't even have to make it this difficult. I mean, if we could find the other advanced quest over here, like this one was pretty simple. It was just like, I don't I know. It looks like a lot, but it's literally just like, oh, it's just the starter battle from like the beginning of FGO, right? Like you're fighting 
a very simple like combination of characters and it's, it's like super simple right we had um this one this one was like really dummy easy it like this one was literally just it, it had like all these special things and everything but because they're all zerks you could pretty much just easily one shot the wave with free to play characters so i was thinking i was like hey man maybe they could like do these um like once a week or something because they don't they're not like really all that hard to do like to program i imagine because they're literally just a pretty quote-unquote decent challenging quest right um and so i am glad that we we're actually getting uh more content for these because the more of these that get pushed in the game i think the healthier the game actually becomes because again, like I was saying, it becomes more accessible for more people. You're able to level up your guys and everything. At this point, I'm kind of just, I know it's going to sound weird, but I think the only other thing they really need to do is after they kind of start ramping this up, which they drop three this time. So certainly they are just going to continue to ramp it up, but maybe make a quest that, I don't know, you just have some ability to get like massive amounts of QP. Like I'm talking like maybe every month you could pay like a thousand mana prisms and get your hands on like i don't even know like two million qp or something right? or like or 200 million qp or something like that right i'm like something else like that might also help new players out um because if you guys aren't aware alongside this update they brought out the white cubes as well and the white cubes actually let you just directly exchange for specific materials that you need so it's like i think it's um bronze or one uh silvers are two cubes and then golds are three so it's like you know, if you're a newer player, one of the problems is that it's really hard to level up your servants because you might summon for, I don't know, like someone like Space Ishtar. She's actually a really good example. She comes out, you get her, but you can't actually like level her up or anything because you can't get the eggs. <laughs> like the eggs aren't available until Lost Belt 4, which is really far into the game. You can skip 1.5, but you still got to beat like all the main story and get up to 4 then actually beat four so you can start farming the eggs and then most of the events at the bare minimum are usually requiring you to be in like the lost bellish territory right so it's like once you start the game you can't just start farming an event that might have eggs because you're not even in the lost belts yet so doing all these things does make the game more accessible i love to see it but let's continue doing this this is good drop them in fat batches maybe drop them in like the uh one of the prism shops i think would also be really good and then just another incorporated way of being able to get qp i think would be good we do have the new qp stage um that drops with the sixth year anniversary i believe if i remember correctly um and that is also really really good but yeah i think if you can get like one other thing to do that i think it kind of makes the game easier to jump into and just makes it a more streamlined fun experience for most people or another idea that i think really could work is maybe the weekends are like half off for um all of the daily quests or something like that so that's like oh it's the weekend i have like a spare time i can actually go in there and i could farm a lot of qp right because it's half off or something it just makes it a bit more worth it but i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video uh leave a like subscribe all that good stuff i do upload fgo videos every single day and i'm still trying to get to 100k so i'd appreciate every bit of support you guys can give if you want to support the channel further than you're already doing just by watching the video leaving a like and subscribing uh, you can actually support the channel by downloading LD Emulator in the link down in the description down below. It's just a really good way to actually play, um, you know, any mobile games on your computer. You can sign up to my Loot Cakes as well, which I don't know if it's actually full because it's supposed to be a thing where, like, everybody in my alliance, when, like, anybody spends money in the alliance, we all get points and you can use those points for gift cards. But I was getting emails from people saying that it's actually full, so I might have to talk to them and be like, hey, uh... Can I get like an extension or my, com my community is just built too different. You know what I'm saying? We're just a little too strong. So, <laughs> you know, might have to get a little extension on that. You could try to join if you wish uh, and see if maybe you have a problem. But yeah, be sure to comment that down below and let me know if you're having a problem with that. But finally, I stream every weekday over on my Twitch. Uh, we stream FGO and Yu-Gi-Oh, sometimes Elden Ring, just kind of vibing with the boys. So check that out every weekday. And uh, yeah, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament next, or not next Saturday, it'll be uh, this upcoming Saturday. Make sure you sign up, join the Discord, read the announcement, all that good stuff. But yeah, with all that being said, I think I can actually go ahead and get out of here and we'll take a fat nap, boys. But yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourselves a nice day.